Thank you, Chair. It's a great pleasure to be here as a panelist. Um, I would also like to thank the audience uh, for being here towards the fag end of this conference. And it looks like that uh, it's only a, a conglomeration of the South Asian um, uh, experts and participants. I would have loved to see participants from other regions um, who could uh, share and also listen to the experiences of the South Asian countries in terms of dealing with the nutritional insecurity and um, uh, weather shocks. Anyway, we have heard enough about the uh, various shocks and nutritional uh, insecurity. I will focus on the Bangladesh case. Um, as we know that you know, resilience ha as is something about having capacities in various manners, absorption capacity, adaptive capacity, and also transformation capacity. And uh, Bangladesh actually have been able to focus and deal with the, uh, these problems, the nutritional security and weather shocks um, in order to you know, absorb, ad adapt and transform uh, to a large extent. I will show uh, towards the end of my presentation some slides how Bangladesh could adapt to the situation, the uh, weather shocks um, and nutritional uh, insecurity. But before that, let me highlight a few resilience uh, related issues in the context of nutrition and weather shocks. Um, as you know that Bangladesh is a least developed country, however, it has been actually progressing at a very fast rate. We have been able to maintain a growth of 6% for the last decade or so. And as a result, we could, we could manage to increase the per capita income as and also reduce the poverty um, to a large extent. And it could also meet several targets of the Millennium Development Goals. And in fact, uh, in the area of you know, poverty reduction, in the area of child reduction of child mortality, and also increase in female enrollment ratio. And in fact, Bangladesh has been a stellar performer in case of meeting the MDG um, goals. And it has been uh, awarded by the uh, UN Secretary General. Yet, the undernourishment and underweight is uh, quite pervasive. If you look at the uh, data, the proportion of undernourished people in Bangladesh during 2010 to 2012 was 16.8%. Proportion of underweight in children under five years during 2008 to 2012 was 36.8. These are, of course, half of what we had in the 1990s. But yet, compared to the developed countries, these are quite high. Um, so this, these uh, phenomena actually pose a threat towards the development of the economy. And uh, as the country sets its objective to become a middle-income country towards uh, 2021. And looking at the weather events, we have uh, heard, you have learned yesterday uh, uh, the excellent presentation uh, from uh, Dr. Atik Rahman, who is an eminent scientist in Bangladesh. Um, and you know that flood, cyclone, drought, these are common uh, weather shocks in Bangladesh. And these are exacerbated by the impact of the climate change. Now, how does nutritional status get affected due to the weather shocks. Uh, previous speakers have already touched upon this. In case of Bangladesh, sea level rise and salinity of water, these are actually apprehended to affect the agricultural production a large extent, and also the fisheries uh, in the coastal uh, region. And also the rise of temperature uh, is also effect, uh, expected to affect the production of wheat and rice. So I'll stop here. Thank you very much.